Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Eichrox, and I am here with Charles. Um, he's going to be in the Jurassic Park 3 review that I have for the review and ranking series. But, Charles, I have very, very bad news for you. Uh, yes, Paul Eichrox, uh, what is the news? Alright, so you know how we went to go see probably one of the best movies that this year had to offer, Minions Rise of Guru. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty good movie. Yeah, right. It was a pretty good movie. It, it was actually like really good. And you know, you you showed up to the movie with a nice a nice suit, but then we found out more people showed up to the movie with nice suits. Bro, we're all fucking dripping. Yes, everyone was dripping. Now, as of recently, there has been TikToks. I don't personally have TikTok myself, but you know, Instagram kind of helped me helps me with that. And apparently, hordes, and I mean just hordes of people are going to see this movie with these suits and praising it and you know, like dressing up as the minions or Gru or characters from the movie. It's awesome. And it shows general support for uh, the movie. If I'm going to be honest, man, those are some sexy-ass motherfuckers that are enjoying the movie, having a great time with their friends, and just living their life. Absolutely. But, Ooh. but some movie theaters, and I'm not saying the movie theater themselves, but the, some managers are deciding that they don't like that. Ew. Uh, uh, Luis brought um, a mask. It was a vendetta mask. Why he brought it, I have no clue. But he, he was wearing it in honor of the movie. So we were in line. We were about to get popcorn. And um, I think the manager, that was for sure the manager. Because homie was kind of like, you know, dressed like one of those old school movie theater people. Like with the vest and everything. And he was like, Er, you can't be wearing that. How yeah, dare so, they? How dare I, they, Lois? Disrespect the, with, the uh, trip. The, the this guy was policing me. He was acting like I was gonna like steal the fucking popcorn or something, man. Like <laughs> it's a it's a seven dollar popcorn. Do you really think I'm gonna steal it, man? Gas prices are higher than this popcorn now. Literally. And when we went, we, we went to go buy the tickets, right? And, you know, you were just talking with the other people. But once you came, and we were, I was with uh, another friend of ours. Uh, his name is Joseph. And we were we were just chilling, right? We were like, hey, hey, can we get uh, three tickets, please? And then the lady was like, oh, what would you like to take it for? And then you showed up. Dripped out. Absolutely stunning, and that that didn't get the message through her head. Why else would you come dripped out to see uh, another movie? No, we're here to see Minions: The Rise of Gru. Yeah, honestly, I, I was very surprised by the confusion on her face. I thought by showing up in my best suit and wearing my best mask, it would uh, get the picture that I was there for this masterpiece of a film. Masterpiece, may I say. May I say this deserves an award. Best award. But this incompetent fool thought that I was there to watch a different movie. What does she think we're going to see? Jurassic World Dominion? I'll get my review for that movie later, but you can already... This is a little preview that, um, from the tone of my voice, it's not that much of a great film. But we're not here to talk about that mess of a movie. We're here to talk about Minions Rise of Gru, damn it. Uh, uh, if I'm going to be honest, the movie was a masterpiece. Uh, we won't... We might go into spoilers. If we're going into spoilers, uh, Paul in post, uh, put the time for that. Uh, but movie was fantastic. I 
I, if I'm gonna be honest, if, if we're gonna be reviewing this seriously, I actually really like the pacing of the movie. It wasn't. It's a kids movie. I, I'll, it's 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 kind of quick, but they did add a lot of uh, a lot of lore to to the universe. They did. They did. Um, one of my favorite scenes has to be. Um, uh, this is a spoiler, by the way. Uh, so if um, if you don't want any spoilers, go to the time where Paul Atrox is gonna gonna put in his video. Uh, but there's this scene where uh, Gru and uh, one of uh, the evil seven go to the evil bank, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're there, and they meet the manager from the first movie. They meet they meet him before he was the manager, and, like, they have a callback to uh, to Victor. Yeah, Victor. That was awesome. Victor, man. We popped. Uh, sorry, we, <laughs> we popped in, during that part. Yeah, because it was just like it was nice seeing that you know the universe was uh, connecting, connecting the dots to you know, to like uh, to the previous movies and actually making it feel like uh, like it's part of the universe because uh, you know how in the first Minions it really didn't feel like that. Yeah. It, yeah, it really didn't feel like it was like it really didn't connect until like you know Gru showed up, but there was like a lot of. Um, there not a lot, but like a few callbacks to uh, to a lot of characters. This is a uh, very uh, fan servicey to the to the minions uh, and uh, Despicable Me stance. Yes, and uh, I'm gonna give my take on it right now. Uh, like Luis was saying earlier, it did. It, it was a kids movie, but honestly, in my opinion. It was a movie for everybody. Let's be honest here. Everyone, everyone had a laugh. At bro, least like, once. Bro, if you're straight, gay, they, them, a fucking horseshoe, bro. If you're a horseshoe, you're gonna love this movie. And yeah, it, it, it's literally for everybody. And I believe everyone mm. should go watch it. Oh wait, that's not the case because. I've been seeing uh, a lot of TikToks, and one of my friends uh, showed me one, actually. He sent me a video, and it was this lady. I'll, I'll show the video up here. Not participating in it. There will be no screaming. There will be no clapping at the movie. And if you want to, we will kick you out immediately with no refund. If you don't want to leave, when we ask you to, we'll call the cops to have you removed. There are actual families here to see this movie. And if you disrupt them, you can also pay for their ticket. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. What do I say? It is illegal to record any part of the movie, even the beginning sequence. You cannot record it. If you record it, we won't even give you a warning. We'll just call the police because it is illegal. Do you understand that? Alright, now that you guys saw the video, you see this lady's just, you know, giving warnings, but like, wh okay, why are you so mad about it? Alright? It, everyone's here to see a movie. This is what, I think this is what they need to have. This is literally what they need to have. Praise for their movies. They're literally getting a bunch of movie tickets in! That's like a dream! Morbius didn't do that. Jurassic World Dominion did not do that. Buzz Lightyear, whatever the hell it's called, definitely did not do that. But Minions, everyone came. And obviously it was a lot of teenagers, young adults. But we are people who grew up watching these movies. We grew up watching these. But now that we can't praise them and we're getting kicked out of movies, we need to start a movement, damn it. We need okay. we need for all epic Fortnite gamers to rise. Go on your Instagrams. Promote Minions Rise of Group. Because this this is generally a great movie. This is an awesome movie. And 
you know, there are there are some people who I'm not I'm not gonna lie. There are some people who are kind of taking it too far. Like they're bringing in bananas. All right, not nothing too bad so far. But then they're throwing it around the theater apparently. And some yeah, people it's... are generally disrupting the movie. Like, watch the movie, damn it! Like, we get it. You you love the movie. I love the movie. But you gotta, you know, tone it down a bit. But then this lady in the video is like, no, I don't want no clapping. I don't want any any cheering. No, no, nothing. And then she's like, do you guys understand? And then you just hear hordes of people, Louise, hordes, and <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> A lot of their voices are cracking because they're, they're teenagers, just like us. And they're like, yeah, we understand. And I think I even hear some boos. I may be wrong, but this is, it's, it's terrifying. It's generally terrifying that these movie theater employees are kicking out people because they want to see a movie, which is the reason why they came. And they paid their money. You know, six, ten dollars. Hell, I bet you some people even paid twenty for the whole real experience of Minions: Rise of Gru. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, it it does fall under the case that some people are ruining the fun for others. Like you were mentioning, people throwing bananas and even sneaking in bananas. I mean, yeah, it's for Minions, but you guys gotta understand that they're like they have movie theaters have strict policies of like no bringing any food so like if you are gonna go watch Minion Rise of Gru please don't please don't bring bananas dress up as a minion wear your suit do that but don't ruin the fun for everyone uh and in the case of the lady pressing the whole theater for not cheering and not clapping I would say that is actually a stupid ass move by this boomer because she does not understand the magnitude of this movie. You know, we've been uh, we've been hyping it up for like almost three years now. You know, it was supposed to come uh, out during like 2021, but you know, it it was ruined by COVID, and so it was pushed back. And and the studio didn't budge on releasing it on digital. They waited for movie theaters to start opening opening up, and they released it to us. And now that we can't clap. And cheer because fucking Margaret Thatcher is deciding that, oh yeah, like you can't fucking clap or, you know, cheer on this this magnificent movie, is very dumb. Because you know, clapping is and cheering is part of the movie experience. I remember in um, in Spider Man Homeless. Uh, when uh, Andrew Andrew Garfield and Bully Maguire came out on onto the screen, everybody was just taking like a fat fucking dump in the movie. They're like everybody was like, ah, like, oh my god, dude! I'm pretty sure my eardrums were like obliterated when I saw those two come out. That was a magical experience. So now that a fucking old ass 1919 fucking world war one survivor is saying hey don't fucking you know don't fucking cheer don't fucking clap that's stupid absolutely and then there's some theaters that are banning the suits so some people can't even come in suits and you know what i feel very discriminated against because i'm a person who uh personally wears suits not for like just like you know not for like for the special occasions no i wear suits like i literally wear suits on a day-to-day basis i i buy as many suits as i can and like you know i wear them throughout uh, my days i uh i feel kind of like discriminated against because what if i went to that movie not like you know just in my suit because uh you know it's the suit of the day or the suit that i wear like and they kick me out because i'm wearing a suit even though that is my daily clothes. Absolutely. Terrible. Very terrible. Uh, me, Louise, and a couple other friends, uh, Productions of Machu, we went to go see The Batman. And we, we came in suits. Kind of like in the same vein as people coming to go see uh, Minions Rise of Gru in the suits. And 
if anything, people were cheering us on when we were wearing the suits too. They were like giving us compliments. And yeah, like we had uh, we had a few employees like be like, oh my god, like you're wearing, you guys are wearing, like you guys look so cool and shit like that. That's so awesome. Yes, literally, and it was cool. And now we get more of that with Minions Rise of Gru, and everyone's joining in. And I honestly think, because apparently this is a trend. I saw a video and I was like, oh, the new trend. People uh, showing up to Minions Rise of Gru as chads. No. Honestly, this is not a trend. This is general. I, I feel, I hope, and I pray that this is general love for the movie. And uh, yes, it's ironic love, but it's still, it's still praising the movie. And it's from, they made their decision to show up in suits. I bet you some people that they even like have suits. When they got a suit, want to go see Minions Rise of Gru. Some people haven't worn suits in a while. Pulled out the suit from the closet, put it on. I mean, come on. And this movie is is just awesome. And you know, this isn't like Morbius where you know it, it's sarcastic. You know, where we're like, oh my gosh, Morbius is the best thing ever, which it is, by the way. But <laughs> this is general, general love, and I think you know I uh, it just came to my head right now. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they're not like supporting this epic Chad movement of wearing suits to Minions: Rise of Gru, because okay, Morbius came out it flopped, but then you know we all started making the memes, right? DS Morbius. Uh, fucking Jared Leto with his stupid script or whatever. And Morbid time. yeah, Morbin time. And then these these fucking idiots are like, oh, let's go release Morbius again. <laughs> People love it now. Not the case. That was not the case. But with the Minions Rise of Gru, I believe they finally caught on that it was sarcasm. But then I guess they kept the same mentality for Minions Rise of Gru. And they think that it's we're all being sarcastic and we're all just doing it to like ruin the movie. No, no, we're not. We're coming to praise the movie. Yeah, exactly. I was actually uh, lo uh, looking up, and apparently, this movie uh, beat the beat the record for a July Fourth opening weekend. Awesome! Absolutely was, uh, stunning. Which was previously held by one of the Transformer movies. I can't. I don't really care for that franchise, even though like I might see it later on. But like, yeah, like they beat uh, a two. Like they beat a ten-year-old movie. Like nobody. Like uh, they beat a record that was held for ten years. I think Mini and Drive Zagur is gonna hold that record longer because honestly, I don't think there's ever gonna be. Uh, a historic moment like this in yeah. the history of our youth in the 2020s because honestly this is this is crazy yeah, it's absolutely it's i wouldn't say it's crazy i've noticed that any anything that's like you know reboarded or about to from the, from the past or like something like that like uh you know it's starting to pop up in in like meme sarcastic culture like um, like a few things like Stranger Things and other stuff like things that you grow up with uh, you know they're becoming more memed and people are actually like starting sh to show love for it because uh, I remember like for um, Despicable Me 3 like nobody wanted to watch that movie no I want to go like, see no it empty theater yeah it was like it was dead silent and, and now like you know now that we're a little bit older and we can actually go watch these movies without our parents you know stopping us or like and we can drive to these movies like you know hell yeah yeah we'll watch these movies and we like, dude, they're awesome we take more time to appreciate these movies too as we're growing older and it hits different it hits different for a lot of us watching these movies again compared to when we were kids and that's why everyone wanted, wanted to go see minions right to group uh, if I'm gonna be honest, they're uh, they're kind of bad movies, but you know they're not the bad where it's like oh, Ice Age. This again, 
Yeah, like, I, I, Ice Age. I, I, Ice Age. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. The Ice Age. Uh, after the fourth, like even during, I mean, after the third movie, everything just went downhill. For me, everything after opinion. the second movie went downhill. I like uh, the first one uh, and the but, third one, but besides that, I don't like any of them. Yeah, but I'm not even gonna lie though. But I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but these are okay. So these are bad movies, but we love them because we grew up with them, and they're not that bad. Yeah, like they're not bad. Like as in, like, oh, I don't want to watch this again. They're bad as in, like, oh yeah, they're terrible movies, but like you can make fun of it. Like you know, uh, and so yeah, that's uh, that's my take on. Uh, on the Minions franchise and the Despicable Me franchise. My name is Steve Carell. I love the Minions Rise of Gru. Go watch it. All right. I'm so we've it. said, yeah, go for it. So, like, I'm going to be honest, though. Man, I'm not even going to lie. That fucking Owl Minion, bro, she was thick as hell, bro. Like, oh, my God. Uh, like, bro, when I when I saw him on screen, I, I, at first I hated him. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but then I grew to love his thickness. I his, think uh, his persistent <laughs> drive, his stunning roundish looks, and oh, yeah. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, that's the uh, top ten sexiest anime characters right there. <laughs> Auto for me was probably like um, the because um, this isn't really spoilers, but at first because it's really we're not spoiling anything. But at first you you kind of like you're annoyed with them, but then like toward I think the third act is when it's like oh yeah yeah everyone just loves Auto and I love Auto too. He kind of looks stupid and it, it was kind of it kind of contradicts everything you're saying right now about him being sexy. But I mean. I just want to like kick him when I or that first half. I just wanted to kick him. And I wanted to see if he was heavy or he'd just go flying like a soccer ball. Yeah, honestly, I think Minion or like I think uh, Elimination is gonna make a fuck ton of money on uh, auto pillows. I hope so, and I hope they don't like take advantage of this and you know like be pieces of shit and release five more Minions movies just because this one was so successful. Yeah, I think I they should leave it alone for a bit. I, yeah, I think this actually tied... Uh, this movie actually tied uh, the franchise nicely like into a little little bow. Like a little circle, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, everything in life is a, is a circle. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah, and... Uh, just like Otto, but... It just tied up the movie with a little nice bow, and and it really if if you watch, okay, I'm gonna say this: watch, uh, min. If uh, honestly, minions, you don't even need to watch it. Don't don't watch the first minions. If you want to start with uh, the Despicable Me franchise, just start with the second movie, Minions: The Rise of Gru. Then go with Despicable Me, uh, the first one. And dude, watch the second one. Then watch the third yeah, one. Yeah, that's then, it. You'll be great. That's only you'll three movies you have to watch. Three movies, and you know how much move, how much these movies cost? They cost zero bones if you pirate them off websites. <laughs> oh my no, gosh! Oh my yeah, gosh! But like, uh, if you're your Netflix subscription, bro, uh, they really need it right now. <laughs> Uh, oh but, man! But yeah, just those three movies. Awesome, you caught it. Yeah. So that's our take on the minions. And um, to conclude, all I have to say to those managers and stuff: do your fucking job. Let people enjoy the movies. Don't be an mm-hmm. asshole to these people just because they came to you know the thing that they're meant, uh, oh. they're coming to see a movie theater. Where they see movies to praise them and have fun. And they're taking that away. It's, I understand like with with plays and and stuff like that. That makes sense. 
Definitely. It's a movie. What, the minions are going to be like, guys, stop, that's disrespectful. No, no shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> like, and um, to the people who are going to see the movie, bro, come drift out. Bring your girlfriend. Take, how? Take the boys, bro. Take everybody. Drift, drift out, please. You know, show your support. Clap. You know, just don't be disrespectful, you know. Don't scream during the movie. Scream after the movie. Because the movie's over. What's what's gonna happen then? Oh no, you disrupted the, the credits. You know. So please spread the word. We must stop the the minions rise of Gru hate. We can't have this here in this world where we're all finally uniting as one and watching this fantastic peaceful honestly masterpiece of a movie so that was my take my name is paul atrox and my name is charles subscribe to his channel i'm gonna put a link in the description for his channel check it out um he makes some pretty bomb chicken nuggets and uh he's gonna be uh in my jurassic park 3 review so stay tuned for that uh, video when it comes out and check out the lost world video that video honestly was really it hard to slaps. edit loki it slaps oh my god i like the ending part cream. uh i'm not gonna say what the ending part is so you're gonna have to go check that for yourself so um take care bubs